Hi, my name is David Smoothheart. I'm the artist that's done this piece, which is the stained glass window in Mont Louis in France. And there are stories embedded into this. You should introduce yourself now too. Okay, I'm introducing myself. I'm delighted to meet David in person and very, I was going to say blessed. Blessed is very, a great word. It's I a like very blessed. churchy word. Yeah. I was going to say we feel very blessed to be a, a new home for this, yeah. this wonderful painting. Yes, sir. And it's great that it's close so that you... Um, kids will come and stare at it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and um, adults too. But it, 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 I've had a lot of kids come to my house and when this was in a place where they could actually get close to it, mm. they would climb the stairs and sit and look at it yes. and ask you about the stories that are in it. I, I was in um, another church and it had, well, more kind of traditional art, but actually art groups made a deliberate trip to the church from other parts of the country just to look at the wow. at the artwork. Yes, I think it's um, I think it's important that it's at the entrance. To yes, it is. I think it's great. I'm very honoured to have it at the yeah. entrance. Let me tell you a bit about the story. In uh, 2012, my ex-wife and my daughter and myself went upon an epic journey by bicycle through the Loire Valley in France, and um, we do about. 50 kilometres a day, and uh, we got to this town at lunchtime, and everything was closing, and there was a, a bakery that was open, and I got a, um, a piece of uh, oh, baked goods that was this colour. So I already had this colour resonating in my head before I discovered the cathedral. And we entered the cathedral, and it was all like grey stone and concrete reconstituted, and I thought, oh, it just needs to be coloured up. Not knowing that I would do this artwork, but I was fascinated by the window. And the window was blown out when the Germans, the hero of their planes, bombed this bridge across the Loire River because it was the supply line to the French resistance. So all the, all the windows in the whole town got blown out by the force of the explosions. Um, so this, for eight years, the church had no windows. I don't know whether they were boarded up or just left open, but it was, you know, one of the victims of war. So they were particularly blessed, I think, that the, the building didn't go down. Uh, so when I got to, with the, with the memories of the uh, cake that I had that was this purple colour, uh, I thought, I'm going to try and embed that into the painting. But also, like you brought up earlier, the colour. Mm. What, what season is that? Oh, well, it's very poignant that it comes to us at the beginning of Advent because this, this is the colour of, of the Advent season and it is the exact colour of my wow. stall. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. Mm. So it's found the home in the right place. It's eventually come yes. to its right place. Mm -hmm. So in doing it, uh, that pink I applied and there was some other layers to it because I think you know, you have priests in the Catholic Church, you have Catholic parishioners who are, and I know we're in an Anglican church, but this was a Catholic cathedral because it was France and they don't have the Anglican Church in rural France. And uh, the symbology, uh, I wanted to make it pink as a statement for the pink triangle for the LGBTIQ community, but, but I also wanted it to relate back to the faithful. The, the fa you know, the, that colour is the faithfulness of God, let's say, because of the Advent season. So there's a representation there. But it's also the representation of the uniqueness of each parishioner who has a zeal and a love for God in their heart and who may be going through struggles and having a few bombs land in their life at times yes. that they have to try and get around. Yes. Now you had a great word about the chakras from the story Bridge in Brisbane that I introduced. So do you want to just talk about that? Yes, I just the first thing that struck me was how the, the light uh, comes through the centre of the painting, but it actually passes through the chakras of of Mary. Yeah. And for me this would be more Mary Magdalene. Oh right. Rather than Rather than Mary the mother of Christ. Yes, yeah, Ma yeah. Mary Magdalene, she was the first apostle, the apostle to the apostles, wow. and actually led the church in France. Oh. Uh, when the apostles, you know, the male apostles, yeah. didn't um, didn't quite take to some of her yeah. teachings, but 
Um, the light seems to go through all the traditional chakra points. So um, the third eye, the heart chakra, you know, the yeah. throat chakra, yeah. giving speech. Yeah. Um, um, so on and so on through all the way body. through. Yeah. yeah. And she seems to be the, the center. She's the she bridge. She is definitely the center. But she's also the bridge. So you, yeah, she's the bridge. You've got the yeah. Sydney. Uh, the Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh yeah. my goodness, did I say that? Yeah. I meant Brisbane. Bridge. Yes, it's all right. The story bridge from Don't Brisbane. Don't edit that out. It's a good mistake. <laughs> um, and there seems to be a bridge between, you know, the secular and the yes. and the sacred, which becomes one. Yes. Yeah, I, and I know that it's 1944, and this is the bombing of France, the bombing yeah. of a bridge. Um, but the big bridge is there for us in Brisbane, but. For me, in my lifetime, it just evokes the visceral memory of 9-11. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, know, you yeah. can't not look at that and not see the footage yes. from, from, from America, from America. On, yeah. on, on, that, um, on that dreadful day. Yes. And it does represent, for me, a future possibility for the church. Yes. Unless we start listening to the more feminized voices, the more marginalized voices, yeah. LGBTQ. QIA plus yes and and being that bridge I doubt we'll have much of a future yeah um, so my good friend Anthony Van Brown um, has an organization called ambassadors and bridge builders yes. and it's, he's building bridges between the two, the two communities that you just mentioned yes like the secular and the church and the LGBTIQ plus a plus uh, and the world and the church yeah and because um, if, if the sacred aren't doing some bridge building yes then they're a dying race yes and absolutely that's not what we're called to be no no so no, that's no. about it yeah i mean well i could just go a little more into it could i go a little longer yes yeah. Yeah. so I, I noticed you weren't aware of the wine barrels i was originally but, but i've forgotten you, you've forgotten yeah. the wine yeah. barrels okay yeah because this is from a wine growing region yes. in France. So they've got the bounty of the earth. And um, then they're, they're giving thanks and partaking of the Eucharist, do you call it Eucharist? In... Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes. And um, then we've got the, the river flowing underneath Mary's feet, oh, wow. which is like something that's really special. Oh, yes, that, that's also a very yeah. uh, biblical uh, yeah. image. Yes, yeah. it is. And then we've got the, you know, the town. And um, look, there's even the cathedral there. Yes. Yeah. It, it looks a bit like Austinball on the plateau. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I was thinking that as I drove up. Yeah, Richmond yeah. River. Yes, yeah. the Richmond River. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got these beautiful stars. And it, it says saint, but I can't, I think it looks like it says... It's, it could be any saint, actually. Any saint, yes. Yeah. yeah. And these, these light shards that I put into it, they're lights from another setting that I did that to and then embedded them into the painting just to show you the excitement of the, because the, the entrance of God's word brings light. So even though this was a grim situation, that light came, this light came yeah. and uh, we have a world illuminated by light. And, and it's a connection between, it's the marriage of heaven and earth. Yes, the, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Gosh, there's a ram. Awesome insights. I love it. Yeah. I have to bring some more of my artwork down and get you to give me. Yeah. A... So no. Um, <laughs> in so in the Bible ends obviously with Revelation, a new heaven and a new earth. Yes. Yeah. And it talks about this new city, Jerusalem, which comes down from, from heaven. Above, yeah. And it talks about a river that flows. Yes. Flows through it, and that's very symbolic. Yeah. Of, there we have it. Of, of yeah. spirit. Yes. You know. Uh, but also for us in the the northern rivers yes um, with all our rivers yeah mm. that's that's significant for wow. uh, for us mm. well thank you for mm. have you seen our stained glass window that looks like this no not yet we'll have to go look at that yeah, we will yes yeah. i've seen the stained glass window through there but yeah. not the one in the church i think we're done enjoy the artwork that's yeah, all i have you. to say oh it's beautiful what a wonderful gift